Hi there. This is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, right now I am sitting outside in nature. I have a beautiful pond behind me and pastures all around me. It is just beautiful. It is a warm spring day. I can feel new beginnings in this new fresh air. And I'm prepared to do a spirit animal oracle card reading for you for the week of April 27th. I'm going to be using the same spirit animal oracle card deck that I normally use. The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed for spirit animal guidance and inspiration for this week of April 27th. Oftentimes the natural world communicates to us in so many different ways. Today I actually got to witness baby birds being born out of their little eggs in a nest next to my balcony and it was just amazing to see that these little baby birds had just been hatched and they were just breathing air for the first time it was such a cool thing to witness and that's a sign of new beginnings a new fresh start rebirth so i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what spirit animals we have in store for us this week of April 27th for our highest and greatest good. Okay, we have quite a few that came out. Okay, so what came out is we have snake spirit, which tells us it's time to heal, okay? So now is a time to take a step back, take a time out, take a power nap, maybe take a day off and just do some inner exploration, some inner journeying, and really just take time to catch up on rest, catch up with yourself, do some self-love, some self-care exercises. Just go the extra mile for you. Do what you have to do to get the rest and the care that you need, for we must fill our own cup up first before we can help others. Okay, so it's all about that balance. Know that it is okay to take a step back and rest once in a while, else we can overexhaust ourselves and burn ourselves out. The other card that came out is Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. All right, remembering that there is infinite abundance. Okay, that abundance, and currency is technically infinite, okay? We are brought up to believe that it's finite, that it's limited, but that's old ideas, old limiting belief systems, okay? The, the world that we're living is, it is abundant, okay? Everything that we need is here. The universe will provide, okay? So no fear, you will always have what you need in each given moment in time. We may not always get what we want, but we'll always be provided with what we need, basic necessities, basic resources, okay? So have gratitude for what you already have in your life, for gratitude will bring forth more blessings and more abundance, okay? And the next card that came out is Cat Spirit. Time to claim your independence, embrace your independence. Once again, take a time out and just take time to be with yourself. Take time to pray and meditate and just reset and just allow some quiet time. Maybe light a candle for yourself and just chill out, okay? Maybe do a Netflix and chill night for yourself or just go outside in nature and sit on the grass and just smell the wildflowers. Take a nice hot bath. Whatever is your sacred time, allow yourself to have that and be comfortable and okay with me, myself, and I, you, yourself, and I, for the best relationship we can have is with ourselves. Once we master how to be alone with ourselves and learn to love ourselves unconditionally, that's when we can become, that's when we can become more open to relationships with others, okay? Now, the next card is Giraffe Spirit. It says, see the big picture. Okay, so see things from a higher, broader perspective, from a much higher point of view. What is the big overall lesson in what is currently going on in your life? What are some things we can learn from the experiences that we're currently all going through worldwide? What are some lessons we can learn? I've been seeing some beautiful, uh, surprising blessings coming out of our current situations. People have been stepping up to help others more and lending a helping hand. People have been sharing more of their resources. The air quality has gotten better. 
dolphins have been showing up in places you know the earth is kind of resetting and there's a lot of healing going on worldwide okay so now is a time to focus on the positives in what's going on for what we focus on grows so the more we focus on the positives the solutions the good things that are happening out of all this darkness the more those good things and blessings will continue to manifest so be sure that you're focusing on positive people places and things at this time is that's going to keep your vibration high and keep your immune system strong okay get rid of any negative vibes bad vibes or news stories that are pulling you down for that can really affect our immune system it can affect our state of being uh, mentally physically spiritually and emotionally so do what you need to do to take care of you okay and skunk spirit reminds you to know your worth and to master balance for the white and the black represent the yin and the yang finding a way to master balance in all areas of your life okay and knowing your worth be sure that you're not settling for people that don't treat you right be sure that you're only allowing respect and good behavior if somebody is not treating you right be sure to speak up for yourself or distance yourself from that person place or thing and really just learn to set boundaries if needed and just know your worth okay and also let love guide you not fear and if somebody makes you uncomfortable and you start to get a lot of anxiety around them maybe limit your time with that person okay take a time out and just really go within and figure out why you feel that certain type of way around that person really begin to explore that so that you can bring it to the surface transmute it and heal it and strengthen your relationship with that person or it may be time to evolve and move beyond that particular friendship or relationship in your life sometimes when we're growing and evolving to the next level there are certain people that need to be left behind in our journey and we need to learn to love them from a distance love them from afar but that's okay it doesn't mean we have to stop loving them we just have to make sure that we're still evolving and growing into the best possible version of ourselves okay for everyone's highest and greatest good we have dog spirit be loyal to what you love or who you love loyalty is key for if you really love someone you're gonna be loyal to them okay also learn to be loyal with yourself for we must learn to love ourselves before we can fully love another so be loyal to yourself to thine own self be true follow your intuition follow your instincts do what your intuition is telling you if you feel uncomfortable in a situation either speak up or get out okay allow yourself to just respect what you're feeling okay and allow yourself to be comfortable and to heal and to be in positive happy vibrations for you're deserving of that okay and right now i'm seeing a seagull flying right next to me and that's a beautiful message of hope that is a very beautiful message of hope to have hope and faith at this time okay for good things are coming your way even though there's a lot of heavy stuff going on in the world right now there is light coming out of darkness slowly but surely there is light at the end of the tunnel okay we are slowly but surely coming out of it do whatever you can to stay in a positive vibration for me what helps me is to get outside in nature like where i am now and listen to all the peaceful nature sounds and just meditate focus on the abundance that surrounds me for nature is abundant and will provide the basic shelter food and water that one needs okay so just know that everything is all right everything is in divine order and everything is happening in divine timing and we have sandpiper spirit which says be playful okay don't take life too seriously still learn to take a time out to have fun let your inner child play for me what i've been doing is playing hide and go seek with kids um having kids show me some cool youtube stuff and some anime videos and I've been going outside in nature and observing birds and the little baby birds in the nest as they were hatching today or just after they had hatched. Um, what are some ways you can bring out your inner child to have fun? What are some activities and hobbies you enjoy? Have a good time for life is meant to be enjoyed and to have fun as well. So embrace it and have fun. Start having fun. Otter Spirit says you are never alone. So if you're feeling alone at this time, maybe reach out to a friend you haven't talked to in years or reach out to a loved one or a family member or 
go online and find like-minded souls and individuals on Facebook groups, Instagram, profiles, uh, meetup groups online. There's a lot of virtual meetups happening on Zoom and webcam chat platforms. Okay, you're never alone. And also know that God is always with you. Okay, you just have that strong divine connection. All right, just go in tune with your intuition. Go within and really listen to that inner voice. You are never alone for we are all one and we are all connected. We are all connected in love. Okay, one love. <laughs> I'm hearing Bob Marley's song, One Love, play in my head. <laughs> Squirrel Spirit says, believe in yourself, okay? Ask, believe, and receive, all right? Ask and it shall be given to you. If you believe that you're worthy of receiving that thing that you are wishing to have in your life, also act as if it's already here, for that speeds up manifestation, okay? But it all goes back to the skunk spirit of knowing your worth, knowing you are worthy of receiving beautiful, good things in your life. You are worthy of abundance. You are worthy of good things. You are worthy of positive people who celebrate you and lift you up as opposed to those who bring you down. So know your worth and celebrate and be resourceful and be clever. And then we have antelope spirit, which says life is speeding up. Okay, so manifestation is speeding up. So once again, what we focus on grows. So what you focus on grows. Be sure that what you're focusing on is of a positive nature for that's gonna manifest in your reality, okay? So focus on positive people, places, and things that lift up your vibration, that give you hope, that give you faith, that make you feel loved, and that just give you inspiration. For that lifts up our mood, our inspiration, our immune systems, and helps us to enjoy life and it speeds up the good things that happen in our life. And there's an infinity loop right here, a sideways figure eight, which means infinity, it means everlasting life. Our souls are eternal and live on forever. So that is why it is so important to also enjoy life while we're here, okay? For we are all spiritual beings having a physical experience. This is a temporary physical experience. All right, act as if we're in one big classroom and just know that we're here to learn. We're here to learn from each other. So do not be too hard on yourself if you're still learning how to navigate through life. For I know I still am learning how to navigate through life and I know many others are. Nobody really has it all figured out just yet. So just be gentle with yourself and just treat yourself to something special this week, okay? For that is an act of self-love. I'm gonna review the cards one more time. We have snake spirit, which says time to heal. We have buffalo spirit, which reassures you that the abundant universe will provide. And then we have cat spirit, which says claim your independence. And giraffe, see the big picture. Skunk spirit, know your worth and master balance in all areas of your life. Dog spirit, be loyal to those you love and to what you love. And sandpiper spirit, be playful, have fun, get outside, do something exciting, lift up your vibration. Also remember, you are never alone. You are connected in love. Go into your heart center and really feel into who your true friends are and those you love and reach out to them. Call a friend, text a friend. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, for you are capable of such wonderful, great things. There's infinite possibilities, infinite potential. What do you wish to create and manifest into your life? What goals and dreams do you have? Just because there's heavy stuff going on around the world does not mean you need to give up on your dreams. So keep trucking along and keep moving towards your dreams. Stay strong, okay? For this too shall pass, and we are moving forward. And then we have antelope spirit, which says life is speeding up. You are an infinite being. <laughs> we all have eternal souls, and this is just a temporary human experience in this flesh. This flesh is temporary. So look to spirit, look to God, look to the divine for the greater, deeper meaning in life and what's really, truly important. And go into your heart and really learn how to connect on a deeper soul level with those you care about and just enjoy life and focus on positive people, places, and things. Get outside in nature, for nature is super healing and abundant. If you have crystals, go ahead and put crystals around your sacred space in your home, for crystals also raise up our vibration and help assist with healing. 
And you can even put on a Hawaiian lei and pretend you're in the tropics. That's what I'm doing. And I'm just sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you for this week of April 27th. Go forth in perfect love, peace, harmony, and alignment. Namaste.